One of those drivers arrested is accused of running a red light and crashing into this 24-year-old woman. Her death marking the 125th traffic-related fatality in Metro's jurisdiction. Tonight, the victim's loved ones say her life is not just another statistic. Fox's Laura Martinez joining us live off Eastern Avenue and Hacienda. Yeah, Jacqueline, the crash happened at 1.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. Faith Hotchin was coming home from work. She was planning on having a movie day with her mom when she was hit at this intersection a quarter of a mile away from home. Um, she was my whole world. I've been a single mom since she was about five months old. It was just us. She was my team, and now she's gone. 24-year-old Faith Hodgson was killed on Saturday afternoon. Las Vegas police said a driver ran a red light and crashed into Hodgson off Eastern Avenue and Hacienda. She was um, very empathetic, compassionate, caring. She had a way to make, make people smile. Las Vegas police said the 41-year-old man who ran the red and hit Hodgson displayed signs of impairment and was arrested for DUI-related charges. Hodgson was less than a quarter of a mile away from home. I didn't know when she walked out the door that morning that I wouldn't see her again. And it's all because somebody was reckless and didn't care. On Wednesday morning, the nonprofit Stop DUI, Metro, and others put up around 100 signs as part of their annual reminder of innocent DUI victims. These signs are on Kyle Canyon Road. So this is the sign I'm putting up today. And my daughter, Krista, is on the one side. And then her husband, Damaso, is on the other side. Diane Malone flew in from Florida. Her daughter and son-in-law were killed in May of 2018 while sitting at a stoplight at Sahara and Hualapai. She said the signs are more than just memorializing their loved ones. It's to give a message, send a message to everyone to never drink and drive because it can happen to anyone, anyone. They were just sitting at a stoplight. Now, those signs will be displayed as drivers head to Mount Charleston during the Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year holiday season. Reporting in Las Vegas, Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.